Hey guys, this is Goofer King, and um, I just built this little furnace here. It's a charcoal furnace, and um, it's powered by obviously charcoal and a fan from a hair dryer. And my neighbor brought over this huge tin full of all these cans, so I'm melting them down in there. And my mom's out here watching too. Let me get inside there. So she's gonna put a can in there and we just push it down and it just like sinks down immediately. It's pretty hot in there. We've got quite a bit of aluminum in there so we've got a muffin tray over there and we're gonna try to pour it in there but first we're gonna try to get the slag off. Here's a really big can. Ooh, must have been some alcohol still in it. I use the big can. So yeah, I just have a uh, flower pot and I made up some refractory cement and coated the inside. And I drilled out a hole with a Dremel that we put the iron pipe in. And there's just a PVC little T bond there that goes from one inch to two inch where we put the fan in. It's just duct taped in there. It's working great. Fan's already gone. But we've collected enough aluminum, we think we're ready for a pour, so. Okay, here it goes. Don't get your hand neither. Oh yeah. It's nice. It's like we got two ingots in there. So it cooled down here. We got the two ingots. And the smaller one I weighed, it was about a fourth of a pound. And this one's a little bit bigger, so I'd say maybe half a pound or sixth of a pound. To, or six tenths of a pound. Um, Anyway, it's a quick video on melting aluminum in my new furnace. 